Welcome to Creative Currents, the pulse of creativity. In this series of documentaries, we embark on a captivating journey through the heart of our city, where artistic interpretation flows through various disciplines. We'll venture into the vibrant streets, meeting the visionaries behind the magic. These are the individuals who shape the artistic tapestry of our community, turning dreams into reality and ideas into masterpieces. Join us as we unveil the untold narratives of passion, dedication, and innovation. Each episode will take you on an inspiring voyage, celebrating the brilliance of local talent and the spaces that nurture their growth. And now in this episode, we present The Bridge. Step inside this extraordinary community space where artistic souls converge, connections are forged, and dreams take flight. Discover how The Bridge curates and stimulates the growth of creative communities four or five different states on that stage tonight, bro. Providing both a physical and digital space for artists to connect and interact. Through insightful interviews, we'll delve into the story behind the bridge, its mission to create an artistic ecosystem within our city, and its impact on a local artist scene. Before we move forward, it's essential to acknowledge the creative minds who have shaped our storytelling. DJ and Human, Shot by Audu, Bass Dan with the Cam, and Dylan Louder. Through your talents, our stories gain depth and meaning. Together, we embark on this creative odyssey where every brushstroke, frame, and picture contributes to the body of the bridge. Discover more of their remarkable work by visiting their profiles and extending your appreciation. As we transition into the heart of our documentary, remember, the art is a collective endeavor, and together we journey deeper into the current of creativity. What's up with y'all, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. Hey, this is a nice spot, bro. Appreciate it, dog. Yeah, you, that's, that's dope. That's dope. Real Next dope. to the damn lawyers and shit. Yeah, I see. Yeah, American yeah, Red Cross. <laughs> oh, shit. Prison. Prison, man. Let's go. That's my dog, Lawrence. Right. Put this shit away, man. You on the camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you have no etiquette, bro. <laughs> Thank you. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is C-Note. Uh, I, I run the bridge. And that's me. That's about it. C-Note at the bridge. Damn, this is tough. I saw this on your story. <laughs> That's crazy. Great fitness, uh, bridge achievers, better living, you know what I'm saying? All of that. Yeah. So we get our boxing training, our strength training in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out athletic achievers. Shout out, shout out the homie Jameez. Yeah, I'll get you right, man. This is t-shirt print. I should probably grab shirts. I really feel like there's enough resources, enough talent, enough finance, there's enough, there's enough in Charlotte to be able to pursue a creative career without necessarily having to go to any of these big hubs such as, you know, LA or Miami, New York, and anything like that, you know what I'm saying? We, we have enough here to cultivate the same sort of talent and the same sort of success. So I just wanted to, I guess, aid in that, in that, uh, the, you know, the development of that, I guess. That's all. This the studio. That's, I thought people were supposed to be locked in. Honestly, they're probably out back smoking. But this is studio. You know what I'm saying? Right. I wish I would have fucked them. I wish the niggas would have been in there rapping like they're supposed to be. That would have been real cool for the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> this is our event space area. Let's go to shows and stuff. This is normally kitchen, <laughs> catering, bar area, but it's just a little nasty, you know what I'm saying? You'll see, oh, the fucking, uh, the mouse and keyboard is dead. In the studio? Yeah. All right, that's a bit, I'll figure that out. <laughs> it's something I've always wanted to do, but I wouldn't say I was chosen. I'm just, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, playing my role. 
in, in this uh, talent pool, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of great engineers, a lot of great producers, a lot of great artists, a lot of great designers and everything, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of times they're, they're clicked up or they're, you know what I'm saying, some is over here and some is over there and there's nothing like, there, there's some, you know, some entities that try to bring them all together and everything, but I don't know, I guess it's just something about the way we're doing it where we can actually grab those people over there and grab those people over there and bring them together and, you know what I'm saying, cultivate a community within the, the Charlotte creative scene. The Bridge is more than just a creative space. It's a hub of collaboration and innovation where artists and producers come together to shape the future of music in our city. Boundaries fade away as artists from different backgrounds merge their talents and ideas. The result? A symphony of creativity that resonates throughout the city. Tony Snow, we got Ruben Vincent, we got the family, we got a gang of niggas, we got 10 cell phones, we have a great ass night. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Through their thoughtfully curated events, the bridge becomes a stage where raw talent shines. Rising artists find their voices and the established ones reconnect with their roots. Producers and musicians unite, forging collaborations that ripple through the music scene, fusing genres and pushing boundaries. And it's all made possible by the passionate team at the bridge. Damn. Everything straight, Huh? Everything straight. I'm gonna go to half. Oh, I just dashed it. Let's go, bro. August 5th, 10th, and 19th shows. We still need staffing. I'm gonna see if Naomi's available, but like, if you know of any. How many girls, people total do we need for staffing? Well, it's fine. All of um, us. Um, it's really just the concessions and shit, right? Yeah. It's really just concessions and service food. So okay. two to three. You need yeah, you need three. one person working a table for the August tenth event. Like can you write this down? Mm -hmm. You need one person working a table for August event. This this place is is becoming like a, a sort of hub, where where different artists from different communities are coming together and then they're meeting each other and they're interacting and they're exchanging contact information. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but even even before then, when we were in Noda, you know we were still intersecting communities and. Um, it's just a matter of, of being open and allowing people to come to come in and, and mix and mingle and all of that. It's just the openness, I guess, and, and really the intention on community. So we, you know what I'm saying, we really pay attention to the people that feed into the bridge and feed back into those people, you know what I'm saying, in particular, so that the foundation is, is supported properly. The, the main pillars of the bridge is like love, community, and hip hop for sure so so the bridge is primarily hip-hop but in this space we'll we'll rent it out to anybody and so we've rented it out to a rock rock group that had a rock show with like three or four bands do live live music do the birthday party and so yeah we, we've tapped into a couple different sounds primarily though the bridge is primarily hip-hop for sure and everything that surrounds the hip-hop community as we journey deeper into the heart of the bridge we step back in time an old location that continues to resonate with creative energy Amidst these walls, memories were etched and passions united. It's a testament to the foundation of artistry that paved the way for what the bridge stands for today. Are there different, like, different things in here? Like yeah, so all of these rooms are, are different studios, and so uh, they're actually for like band rehearsals. So bands being here, you know what I'm saying, rocking out, doing all of that. They let the niggas in when we reverse gentrified. I was actually supposed to be doing podcasts in here. That was like the initial idea when I got a studio in this building. Yeah. The homie down the hall, No Heart, um, he had a studio before I did. I used to be kicking it with him. And then uh, he had artists coming in and out. And I was like, damn, bro, if I can get a studio and do like podcasts, I could like compliment what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that, that was the idea, but it's loud in here with these bands and stuff sometimes when they get to rehearsing. So I couldn't get like, consistent good audio quality out here right but i had this was already built in here yeah so it was like i guess i'm gonna learn how to uh record music uh -huh. and so that's where that started from i had some of the homies coming in i was recording them i started recording for free then i moved up to like 20 an hour then it went up to like 25 and then 30 and then 40 mm -hmm. and then eventually like that's I, 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 that was the cap of it here 
Okay. And then I went to North Lake and I had the homies recording in here. I didn't know the word is it? Like you got your own kind of music studio, like what's the name? Like Sony Entertainment type shit going on. There. Yeah, I guess yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like a conglomerate type shit. Yeah. Yeah, with all different types of like facets of of art and creativity. You know what I'm saying? With the root of all of that being the music. Yeah, I said something like that. I had one guy this like season one of this whole bridge shit. I had one guy that was like trying to run a radio station out of here. Oh wow. It was like having different artists come and like doing little little like mini interviews and stuff and was like uh, on air online the like, online radio and stuff, like doing little interviews, like you know what I'm saying, just just talking and stuff. But that was that was cool. That was actually really dope. Um but yeah, there's just been all types of little stuff, bro. There's there's literally seasons of this bridge shit yeah. where people come and go, you know what I'm saying, trying to yeah. do different stuff. There's different fallouts for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying, blah blah blah. It's really dope though, man. Yeah man, this is this is nice man. Wow. There's a lot more to this building. I'll take y'all around. I know, it's good. Good, 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 good. Bridge documentary viewers, this is Dev. Dev, these are the bridge documentary viewers. Dev, the count, all that good shit, what up? Uh, so this is where you be going to work, like, going to work. So what you working on right now? Right now I'm working on my cover art for my project. Okay. The song that's playing will also be on the project. The bridge gets you from point A to point B, that's what it's meant for. Goddamn, it's like a fucking ecosystem. So literally, just being a part of that shit and allowing what you produce and what you just put off be utilized, as well as utilizing what's there that the ecosystem provides. That's pretty much what I can say. Uh, I don't like gear to answer towards like oh, I did this for the bridge and I did that for the bridge and I did this this and that trying to make it seem like you know one person may or may not do more or less for the bridge or what not because at the beginning of the day this is you know shit and I, I always make sure the motherfuckers remember that this is shit we hear it you know what I mean so shit the bridge means a lot to me like for sure, for sure. Alright, this nigga is this nigga is responsible for some of the initial funding of the bridge. He's responsible for uh, a lot of the initial studio progress, like you know what I'm saying, as far as motion in the studio, he's recording in there, and then it's like content from him recording in there, which is like, you know what I'm saying, hitting the socials and then other people are like, oh shit, maybe I should record in there too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was one of the first ones to really like go public with this red shit type thing, you know what I'm saying? Kind of start that little wildfire and shit. Like, he's already got his own, like, Dev has his own, like, community, I guess. You know what I'm saying? That like, kind of, I, I don't know, like, Anybody don't take this, but they, he, has, he has his own community that kind of revolves around him type thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he brought that community to the bridge, yeah. you know what I'm saying, where they all came and found a place to, you know what I'm saying, get right, help the, help the project progress and everything like that. Like, come on, so I got like, He's a pretty important part of it. I've definitely been there since day one. That's what I'm saying. Definitely been there since day one. I will buy my shit on that. Pre-season bridge. Pre-season bridge, yeah. Now nah, we was there. We was there scuffing up the court, you know what I mean? Makes us tight, tight. Shots was put up. Nets was put up. Yeah, you know. Come on, now. He's back to that. We was putting up shots on Nets, oh, man. This was the store. This is Tim. Yo, this is Caleb. What's up, fellas? Y'all saw Tim in yeah, the intro yeah, clip. Yeah, let's go, bro. Yeah, let's go. Shit hard. Yeah, right. Tim was in the intro clip. Yeah, and Caleb, it's like, head of events type shit. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, so a year after I got that studio, I like expanded and got this room. So then this was my second studio in this building and it was a photography like slash videography studio at first. So I had like the black and white backdrop over here on this wall. And then I had like this photo tint on this wall. It was like a 
came in height, photo tent over here, and then I had like a green screen over here. I think, and then yeah, I just had like all the lights on this wall, on that back wall, but um, it was tight. It was cool. The idea was to, you know, since record the song over here and then come here to shoot the music video type shit, plus like oh, the building okay. and everything, which is like what we did with the bridge session. Some of them was in the intro. Yeah. But um, commercial wise, it wasn't. It wasn't doing it. Because like if somebody needs a photography studio, they're gonna go to you know what I'm saying a high class for the upper echelon photography studio yeah. that has like the uh, the the floor, the, the yeah. you know what I'm saying all that stuff. And so this was just it just wasn't it. So that shit shifted from that to a little science project I was doing, wink wink. But then that didn't go. And so after the science project, I got them. I got Dolce. Actually, so I got Dolce. I was in the front. Yeah, this is my baby. This this is the bridge mascot, man. Everybody in the bridge loves her. She loves everybody in the bridge. But um, yeah. So I was actually out there at the front where y'all seen me at. I was just like that, standing at the front door, and um, I was waiting on somebody that was gonna come record in the studio. And then somebody else that like be in this building was walking her. She's like a puff, like you know, what I'm saying holding her one hand at the time. And he just looked at me and he was like, "Yo, do you want this dog?" And I was like. Yeah, so <laughs> so he gave me the dog. He had like some papers and shit, like you know what I'm saying. This was her last round of shots. This is what she do for her next round. And then they had like a cage. They had a little bag of dog food. Yeah, all of that. Like, she was well taken care of. It wasn't like I rescued her from a you know what I'm saying a terrible situation or nothing like that. It was more so like unfortunate. But yeah, there's two more rooms that I gotta I gotta stop by real yeah. quick. Alright, this is No Hard Studio. This is the studio that I used to be kicking it in before I got a studio. So I've been knowing him since like 2014. So I just be in there, you know what I'm saying, smoking, kicking it, whatever. He has sessions coming in now. I'm like meeting the sessions. Um, and so, yeah, that was like where I used to be at before I came in this building. You know what that makes sense? Okay. As we end this episode, we leave you with the echoes of inspiration that reverberate through the bridge, an artistic oasis where creativity knows no bounds. We've glimpsed into the beating heart of this community, witnessing the magic that happens when artists unite, collaborate, and bring their visions to life. But our journey is far from over. Join us next time as Creative Currents continues its voyage, venturing into the uncharted territories of creativity. We'll explore new landscapes, meet different visionaries, and uncover unique stories that refine the pulse of artistry.